All right, guys, I'm sure you guys out there have really cool cars. Like, I got my Rubicon over here. I got my Hellcat behind me. I got my house. You know, you, a lot of people have their families. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that has had their vehicles either vandalized, um, people trying to break into your home, people that break into your home and cause harm to your family, that kind of thing. Well, the videos that are going to be coming out over the next couple of weeks are going to be security systems, camera systems, things that you can do that could really prevent these things from even happening to begin with. You know, the best thing you could possibly do is have things in place that will deter people from even wanting to mess with your stuff or messing with your house. And if they do mess with it, well, we got a couple little security things that will be coming towards the end of this series to take care of those clowns also. We're gonna be going through some of the features of this one camera that I have. I'm not a big fan of old-fashioned camera systems. Like, a lot of people will have old-fashioned camera systems where they're constantly filming and Whenever you know whenever you get home and you realize your car was already stolen or when you walk into your house And you realize that you know your wallet's gone or people stole some stuff jewelry Whatever from your house then you end up going back to your old footage and trying to review what was stolen who did it that kind of thing To me you're not being proactive at all You're basically taking action after the fact and it's already too late. They took your shit. They're, they're gone You're not gonna get it back most likely now keep in mind guys this video was filmed a couple years ago and you know you could see my inexperience and how much i sucked on camera you know the way i speak and everything just sorry about all that but trust me the video is worth watching because it's going to show you about this really cool camera you can install it at your house use it use it to protect your vehicles to you know someone trying to break into your home get notified on your cell phone immediately that kind of thing but the one thing i want you to keep in mind I'm going to be showing you all those features and all this stuff, so trust me, this video is going to be worth watching to the end. But there's one feature, the most important feature on this camera, the one feature that literally, when you finish watching the video, you're going to want to close it out, out of this window, go to Amazon and order it right away. That one very important feature will be uploaded in tomorrow's video, which is Friday. I'm splitting it up, guys, because it's just too much info for one video. So I hope you guys enjoy and remember, this is just part one of the security system. When it comes to security, you always want to have multiple layers from different manufacturers so that you can be covered in any scenario that can possibly come up. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is the first modification I've made to the house. This is the Kuna uh, security light. I have a link in the description below for this light. Um, so let me explain how this works. It just looks like a regular light. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. If you see underneath the light, you have a little camera. It has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Um, just does, um, I think it's just G and N for the Wi-Fi signal. 2.4 gigahertz. Basically, I have this hooked up to the Wi-Fi in the house, and the way this works is basically anybody that comes up to the door, it'll record them right away as they come up. It'll give you, I think it's like the first 30 seconds before and after it detects motion. You can it, the light is also automatically set to turn on and off when you know in the morning it'll go off at night it'll go back on automatically. You can even, I believe you can also have the light set for motions where the light bulb goes on only when it detects motion. I prefer not to do that just because I figured that it'll have better motion detection with the light on because I'd rather have light on at night. Um, I put a 60 watt LED bulb in there. Um, I really wouldn't go any brighter than that because you'll probably have too much glare. So I'm going to show you guys now on the phone what it looks like. There's also some pretty cool things. I mean, I didn't, I forgot to mention, so I don't even need to be home. When somebody comes up to the door, for example, my cell phone will alert me and I'll be able to talk to the person who just came to the door. And for all they know, they think I'm 
actually in the house. So that's a pretty cool feature this way. Cause sometimes you'll get somebody who wants to come in and you know, somebody's going to rob you. Um, I actually I know people that this has happened to already. They'll send another person that doesn't look suspicious. You know, they might send like a woman or an older or, or an older woman to go knock on the door, ring the doorbell, just to see if there's someone home. If they see that nobody's home, then you know other people will come in. So in this scenario, somebody comes, rings the doorbell, or comes near the house. I'll be able to talk to them through the intercom that's built into the light. I can hear them also and you know and talk to them. There's also a I think it's like a hundred decibel alarm that I could set off from my cell phone. Um, I could be anywhere in the world since so this uses the internet and it's hooked up to the Wi-Fi. I could make that uh, siren go off. Also, if let's just say a woman is in the house and you want to give the impression there may be a guy in the house instead, it has a couple of pre-recorded messages that will ask you, um, like, how can I help you? Sorry, I'm not interested. It's got a few canned messages that are already recorded. And, of course, you always have the option of just speaking yourself. So, all right, let me show you guys now what it looks like from the from my cell phone. All right, guys, so this is the application on my phone. This is an iPhone 6. I'm pretty sure they have it available also for Android. Um, here, I'll show you. Right over here, you have a uh, icon for a light. If I hit that, you'll see light just went off. You can turn on and off that light whenever you want. Um, you I mean, it's HD, the camera also. If I turn it sideways, it'll show you a better picture. Let me just click on the live view. I mean, it's nighttime right now, so you won't see a, uh, that good of a view compared to in the daylight. But I mean, if somebody were standing in that, you know, front, on those front steps, you're going to see them perfect. Um, I mean, I don't know if it shows on camera. I mean, I can even see down to the street and the houses across the street. But um, in the daylight, it's way it's way better. Right now, I have the sensitivity set to the default, which is like 92% or something like that. And I live on a dead end street. Um, the cars that do go by, it never set you know it's, it never gets set off. The only vehicle that does set off the camera for some reason is the garbage truck when they come twice a week. But that's about it. You can hear the microphone also on the uh, camera. So I'm going to show you guys right now some of those messages that I was telling you that the camera can do. So right here, if I hold this right here, testing, you know, the camera, you could hear it outside. I'm going to sound the alarm. I'm inside the house right now. In fact, you know, let me go outside so you guys can hear what this, sound, this alarm sounds like. Hopefully my neighbors won't hate me for this. Alright, so testing. Testing. Alright, that's me speaking. This is one of the canned messages. You have. I'm sorry, we're pretty busy right now. Hi. Can I'm sorry, we're pretty busy right now. Hi. Can I help you? Alright, and then we have the siren. pretty loud. Alright, let's go back in the house because I'm sure the neighbors are going to be looking at me. Alright, guys. So, this thing, I, I highly recommend this thing. I looked at a lot of reviews. Um, at one point, I was considering doing the ring doorbell. Um, I came close to doing that one, but I believe it didn't have all the features that you know this one has. I mean, this one has that siren. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, it's free. There's no monthly subscription if you don't want there to be. Um, I believe the way it works is with the basic subscription, which is free. They'll give you two hours to review your recording. After two hours, they'll, they will erase it from the cloud. It would have been nice if they gave me the option to record to like a storage drive or some kind of a you know, network drive that I would have in my home through the Wi-Fi, but. I guess that's you know part of the way that they make money. Um, they'll go ahead and just film to a you know a server on their network, which in a way it's it's not the worst thing in the world because to be honest with you, I mean they don't charge that much. You know the, it's very affordable 
and I like the idea of having something that's going to be recorded off-site. So somebody comes in the house and they steal all my computers and all that, it doesn't matter because I got them on camera and the video is sitting on one of their one of their servers so I, I guess it's actually you know a good thing in a way um, I think the they charge 499 or something like that for the for the one camera and then you could they'll give you a lot more days um, I'll have the website in the description you'll see you can check out their basic plan or whatever it's it's really not expensive at all okay guys so hopefully you made it to the end of the video and you saw all the features that this camera has and what it can do remember like I said the most important feature, the one feature that scares the crap out of people every time they come to my house, whether it's family, friends, solicitors, my mail person, whatever, it scares the crap out of people and people kind of back off and they're like, oh, okay, you know what, let me not do something stupid. You know, even my mailman and that kind of thing, you know, they come to the house and they know not to be stupid enough to throw my packages around because they're going to be caught on film. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If it's your first time on the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell icon so you can sign up for notifications. And again, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling